Alrighty, ring that bell, class dismissed. It is Friday, everybody. I'm Bobby in Maine, and today's episode is courtesy of you. I put a very simple choice out there. Would people rather see something pretty or eat something pretty tasty? And hands down, see something pretty, one out. Not a huge surprise. We're coming toward the peak of foliage here in Maine, so pretty scenery, one out. But if you're looking or hoping for something pretty tasty, don't worry about it, I've got you covered. There are a number of places I have in mind for coming weeks. One in particular is a seafood restaurant that is drive-worthy. So uh, stay tuned for that one. But for today, it's all about scenic beauty. Okay, so you're probably wondering where exactly in Maine are we this week? And the answer is Timber Point Biddeford. This is a place that I discovered a few weeks back, and frankly, it's just stuck with me. And the main reason for that is what I found at the end of the walking trail, and you'll see what I'm saying when we get there. But for now, let's pick up where all good stories start. The beginning. So we are on the move. I left the parking lot behind, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some video, ooh, video, and photographs of the drive-in because it's gorgeous. And I'll put in a picture of the, the signpost as well, just to help you get your bearing. But frankly, it's nothing to worry about. It's one of those out and back again walks. So I'd, I'd be shocked if you could get lost. But there are a couple of choices to make. And the choice that I made a few weeks back is the one we're going to take today because it led me to our happy surprise, the one that's haunted me ever since. So we're walking along the beach, as you can see. This is where the path goes. So when you come in, and the road narrows uh, pretty quickly, so you figure out you're here, there's no other place to go but Timber Point in this trail. So the parking is to the right, and there are, prior to the, the, uh, the lower lot, we'll call it that, there are four or five different spots, regular marked parking spots, and then past it, along the marshy side of things, uh, probably room for another four or five cars there. And then you'll see the signpost for the reserve, uh, the walking trail, and also there's a boot that I'll put a photograph in for you, a nice little cut through to the water. I mean, you can go down any number of ways, but someone thought it would be funny to put a, a fisherman's boot there, and it's a nice little marker to be able to get down to the water. Okay, so as you're heading down the path, keeping the ocean to your left and the marsh and foliage to your right, you're going to come to a fork in the road. And in this fork in the road, you definitely want to hang right. Left goes to a, a private residence, and there is a, a sign. And I'll pivot around so you can see. Actually, we'll go see it together right now. So here is the sign that you will see. Oh, and it points you to the right. So you really can't make a mistake. Uh, to the left is the uh, dirt road to a private residence, and I'll tell you more about that in a couple of minutes. It's part of the, the history and the story that we're going to explore today. But stay to the right. Follow the arrow, and ah, it's just beautiful. All right, so a little history about Timber Point. There was a family that owned this land and lived on this land from 19, well, I should say starting in 1928, 1929. It was the Ewing family. He was an architect, Charles Ewing. And his wife actually purchased the land prior to them building on it. But again, he being an architect, uh, built a beautiful home that we're going to see at the end of this. But uh, in 2011, they conveyed, the, the family, his descendants, conveyed the property to Fish and Game, holding back just 13 acres. And that was that left-hand turn at the very beginning, that dirt road that went to a private residence. So they still live on the land, which is fantastic. All right, so, oh, we'll get back to that in a second. I just wanted to show you this little overlook because the view is, well, it's beautiful. La la la. La 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 la. If I mention chipmunks, they're everywhere here. It's insane. They're just adorable, too. Oh my, oh my. You asked for a view. Here is your view. Okay, so we're coming up on, I think, yeah, another choice. And this is where I went left, or stayed straight, really. And I suggest you do too. Now, I don't know what's down right, and I'm gonna pivot around so you can see that. Uh, this here sign. Now, the trail officially continues 
that way into chipmunk territory and I'm sure it's gorgeous because you're going to be closer to the coast and how far out it takes you I don't know I'll explore that at another point but I have a pretty specific destination in mind today so I would advise and I guess you don't have much choice at this point because you're with me and here we are at the Ewing Estate and maybe it doesn't formally go by estate but in my <laughs> And in my mindset, this is an estate. This is beautiful. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, it is in amazing shape. It has a slate roof, which even up close, I mean, I don't see much, if anywhere. I'm, I'm assuming Fish and Game has put some money into preservation on this. But uh, just gorgeous. And I'm going to put links below as well because there are some historical photographs taken from inside to show the fireplace and mantle. I'm going to get up really close here. I'm going to be a peeping bobby. Oh. Ah. And you can see, I mean, just the wood paneling, the wood floors. Clearly someone's doing some work in there. And it's the same as when I was here a couple of weeks ago. They've got some tarps laid out and it looks like stonework maybe from a chimney or something that they've got laid out. So they're being careful, they're being very careful. And then there are a series of outbuildings. This one, obviously the garage. Same slate roof, same detailing. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, so I just took a, a quick intermission there because as luck would have it, someone from Fish and Game Preservation rolled up to the site and really nice person, answered a, a couple of questions. So just to clarify, when I looked in the window and saw on the, uh, on the, the floor in that looked like to be the, the main room, the stonework, that wasn't from a fireplace, that's actually from these walls right here because there are pieces that have fallen off and you can see they've got some details, some inlay work. Uh, so they're trying to just catalog and keep track of that stuff. Unfortunately, there really there aren't any plans, at least now, to um, to open this to the public as far as tours and to keep the build or to open the building. It's really just about status quo. They're trying to keep this place up. So this is the back side of the house overlooking the ocean. Pathetic, disappointing, so sad, unspectacular view from the Ewing Estate out into the ocean. This is what they woke to. This is what they dined by. This is what they entertained alongside. Yeah, it's horrible in here. Oh, and just so you know, they're working on glazing today, so that's what's going on for the windows. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see in there if that's doing it justice. I'll take some pictures or try to take some pictures but yeah you can see it there we go just gorgeous room and this looks like a, a breakfast nook or a, a dining room you can see the built-ins there oh look at this holy moly all right we're gonna peek in that window but this caught my attention first I'm gonna go look, peek over the fence just like Wilson oh. another crummy view so hard that nice little island. I'll do some aerial shots or put in some aerial shots as well so you can get a sense of orientation for the uh, Ewing house in relation to where we parked and this beautiful little island over there. I don't know, this, this place just screams life to me. You can feel it. And a lot of care was put into this place. And this is the other side. I, I walked down along the seawall, but this is the, the pass-through the stone wall and here's a nice detail these are some of the pieces that when I was speaking to the the fish and game person that they have laid out inside you can see the lion there peeking out through the moss so this is what I'm going to call the pantry or the lotta this definitely must have been storage for the kitchen probably some additional wood in there at the time when they were using wood stove or oh did I take a I'm not sure if I showed you inside the kitchen or as best I can Do -do -do. Oh, so cool. No, it's, well, maybe. Probably just seeing me. Yeah. <laughs> but I think there are some pretty decent pictures online. So I'll go ahead and, and put what there is there. So at least you can say, oh yeah, 
Now I know what you're talking about, Bobby. So you have this beautiful estate and you have an ocean to swim in, which is wonderful. But it's not always warm. And if you are afraid of sharks like me, maybe you want something a little different. So what you have is a pool. Oh yeah, this was a pool. And I've got some great photographs, historic photographs, I think I do, that show this, especially from above, to get a sense of where it was in relation to the house. But this was their pool. All right, so now we're gonna head back to the house and just do some cleanup photographs so you can see as best as possible interior of this place through the windows and uh, exterior shots because it's just gorgeous. And that, by the way, the path we were just coming up from was from where the pool was. And now we're approaching the house, the back side of the house where the lion on that stonework is. So yeah. I hope you can understand why this place has stayed with me for a couple of weeks. It set my imagination down a, a certain road. What would it be like to restore this place? And even more so, what it would have been like to live here. 1928, 1929, 1930. Think of all the things that were taking place historically. And the music, I don't know why. I, I keep hearing the music. I hear big band every time I think of this place. And it would be wonderful. It would be wonderful to make this place over and live here. It's a nice dream. I don't know exactly how long we've been here at the Ewing Estate, because I've been a little lost in thought as I've walked you through this place. And I was wondering, you know, if it would be as compelling the second time I came here as the first, and emphatically, yes, yes. I, uh, I appreciate that overwhelming sense of nostalgia. It's peaceful here. I think it, it puts my mind in good directions, and I hope it did the same thing for you. Now, with the weekend that's starting tomorrow, or starting tonight in your case most likely, be safe. Please be especially kind. Hug the people you love. And if you've got time, like, share, and subscribe. I do enjoy spending time with you, and I like to hear from you. So for now, I'm going to enjoy a quiet walk back to the car. From me to you, I'm Bobby in Maine.